pass. This Kinlaw takes his way up the middle. And Kinlaw first down across the 40. So a good start for this Penn State offense, 13 yards. And Kinlaw leans for a first down into AM territory. Kinlaw on second and ten. This little stutter step move picks up about seven. <laughs> that dude's got some shaking power. When, when a guy like that, a running back, shakes you, and then he gets into the strike zone before the defender's able to react, that's when you have power. You know, you don't have to be big. You just have to be able to watch his hips here. We got Chris Bell coming from the outside with a big crack block. Chris Bell, big, tall, lanky receiver, a lot of talent to him. All these receivers love the block. You fake the throw and give it to Kinlaw. And Randy Kidlaw picks his way up the middle at near midfield. There's a burst from the senior again. Wait a minute. <laughs> did you see that field work? Wait, did he not go from 0 to 60 like that? <laughs> Lions at the 35, and it's Kinlaw. And he continues to show the muscle, the senior in the Texas A&M territory. 16 more yards. Nice job. Zone stretch is all that was. And Kinlaw had the speed to accelerate through. You have to run through as a ball carrier arm tackles. And when you do that, you pick up the 10 and 12 yard gains. That's what Penn State needs. Though. Penn State needs to be able to run the ball so they can use their play action pass. They are a balanced team. They're not going to be fancy on you. But they can run the ball. It's going to open everything else up for them. Kinlaw 60 yards rushing already. He's got it again. And a solid game. There you go. You see this guy running, you do wonder where has he been for five years. He hasn't he, been a real productive guy, obviously playing behind Austin Scott, who was removed from the team midseason with his legal troubles and Kinlaw stepping into the void there. But he, he's got talent. Oh, he shows unbelievable quickness, and we saw the explosiveness of getting through the hole. I mean, he's a ball player. No and, doubt about and it. That offensive line is swallowing up the Aggies defensive line over there. Goose Creek, South Carolina man. Oh, yeah, Goose Creek. <laughs> Absolutely. Prior to Goose Creek has it again. Picks up about seven. Over the next two years, what did you assess? They've done a great job. The current coaching staff's done a great job holding all those players together. And it looks like a great. This is Kinlaw who had a strong first half and burst through the middle. Rodney Kinlaw to the 35 as we checked it. On second and ten. It's Kinlaw. Spinning back and muscling out near the 30. And Rodney Kidlaw is back in the ball game. And has it. And has a first down. Kidlaw had a rib problem, went out. Aaron reporting he had an extra pad put on. He's back in the game. That's his sixth run over 10 yards for the senior, his final game. As a lion. Well, we saw Rodney Kinlaw early on show us great acceleration. That play right there in the hole to jitterbug, start and stop and go was unbelievable. And I think that really caused a lot of doubt on this Aggie defense. They had to start changing adjustments on their angles of attack. This Penn State O-line's handling them up front, and there's some gaping holes. Kim lost seven yards per carry. Has it again. And Hammers running right over to Fender. For another first down over the 30, our Keith Brown, the corner, got trucked. 